Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Lau, and today we have an unboxing video of my new Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Um, this is the um, the Blue Green Nebula, and I got this off of the writing desk um, all the way from the United Kingdom. Um, and it was a really good sale. Uh, or at a really good price, so I decided to get it. Um, this is the limited edition version. So let's go ahead and open this. The uh, package in a... <clears throat> it's not gift wrap, but it's it was it's pretty nice. <laughs> okay. And I didn't... Unfortunately, I didn't pay for tracking. Um, because it was free shipping, but the free shipping didn't come with tracking either, so I did not know when it was coming, but I am so happy it, it is here now. Okay, here is the Sailor logo. Oh, well, the, <laughs> the logo on the box. Um, it says Sailor Pro Gear and then 12. So there it is. Say, uh, Pro Gear Slim Blue Green Nebula. Let's see. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Let's see what they said. Um, the writing desk. I bought it on November 17th. So today is December 4th. Yeah. So about two weeks, two and a half weeks. And then there is an example of the nib I got, which is the music nib. And it's actually pretty nice. It looks kind of like... A stub. I thought the nib would be a lot bigger than that, but this I can work with if it's like that. Ooh, this is exciting. But to the pen. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. If there's anything else in there? Oh, it comes with the cartridge. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. They usually don't come with cartridge if you buy it straight from Japan, but I think this is from a retailer, so they came with one, so that's awesome. We'll put that aside. Oh my gosh. Just look at that. Okay, let me see. Well, my camera is picking it up kind of like a bluish green, but in my... In, in real life, it's very green to me. And then there's the nib. Oh, okay. There's the sailor. Oh, this is the um, the older nib. It's got the 1911 uh, on it, along with the anchor. Oh, okay. There. And this is the music nib. So it's like a stub. And yeah, my camera and the light is not picking this up the way I want it to, or the way I see it. But it's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And then <clears throat> the ring at the bottom of the cap here says Japan founded 1911. So it's just the, the usual um, uh, cap band. And then the finial at the top here, the sailor anchor, anchor. So it is a green in my eyes. <laughs> so sorry if you guys see it blue or green on your side. Um, and then it's got gold uh, plated um, accents all over the bands. And it is, I guess it's semi-transparent. So. So it's not completely transparent, but you can definitely see through the barrel. Oh, wow, that took a long time, okay. All right, so let's put the converter in. So sailor converters can be a little difficult to work with. I notice that after a while the sailor converter isn't as 
nice and smooth to work with, but at the beginning it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Okay, so I do like to use inks and I do like to match the color of the ink with my pen, whether I, it's complementing the pen or it uh, is a close match. Um, but I find it's kind of hard to find an exact match, but I think I might have a one of my inks today that might match it perfectly. Okay, well, let's have another look at that pen before I start looking at inks to ink it up with. Oh my goodness, the camera just does not do it justice. It is such a beautiful green. <clears throat> out my traveler's notebook this is um, traveler's notebook size with Tomoe River paper in here so see I can, I've done a lot of writing with my pens <laughs> okay we'll just put a new page here so the inks I have today that I want to try and ink it up with. Um, I have Robert Oster um, Crystal Marine. <clears throat> so there it is. This is a beautiful, beautiful dark, um, kind of like, like a green with blue shimmer. So I think it will, you know, it would match perfectly with this because it's either blue or green, you know. It's, it just changes its color. People see it blue, some people see it green, I see it green. <laughs> um, so that might be a good option. And then I also have the, um, this is Trouble, Troublemaker Copper Patina. This is a green with um, like a bronze copper shimmer. It's really pretty. Oh, I'll put you right there. So yeah, you can see the shimmer there. It's it's quite pretty. So I'll have to shake these up. Um, I don't usually put shimmer inks in my sailors, but because this is a music nib, I thought maybe it might be able to handle um, shimmers because the my third sailor pen or my second sailor pen, I put shimmer in there and it did not go so well. Um, so. Do not put shimmer in your sailor pens, especially if it's medium fine or medium nib, because um, they are an extra fine. Uh, medium fine is like a Western extra fine. So they write really fine and the tines are so uh, tight that the shimmer particles might just clog the feed and the nib. So uh, I stay away from that, um, but we might try shimmers today. My other two inks I have are Pirate Iroshizuku Kujaku. It's a nice dark teal. And then Pelican Edelstein Appetite. Um, this one is a gorgeous uh, turquoise color. Okay. Oh, and then I also have Ferris Wheel Press Mirror Mirror Moraine. This is um, a really, really beautiful bright teal color. Let's get my swabs. And we'll just do some ink splatches. So yeah, so this is like, it's coming off like a basic blue, but it is. <laughs> It is a turquoise color. Um, it's nice and bright. Um, yeah, it's got a little sh hint of green in it. Okay. So I'll just lightly dip it into the um, into the bottle and just do a small ring. Okay. 
sample with it. Oh. Okay. I really like this. It's thicker than I wanted it to be, but it writes so smooth. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the pen is green and then the ink is more blue, so it is like a turquoise. Um, so it's coming off more blue, so I don't think I want to use that based off of this. I just have water on the side. I'll just dip it in there. So this is Kujaku. Uh, this is really wet ink, so I think it'll be nice, but it is a little on the darker side. Um, and I kind of want a bright green blue color. But let's see how this looks. So this does, um, it's kind of a sheener, um, it sheens, it has a red sheen to it, so I think with the music nib it would you know, show off that sheen really well. And uh, there's a bit of shading there as you can see. It's coming off really like a, like a navy blue or like a really dark um, blue-black, but um, it, it is a dark teal. Um, from where I'm standing. Okay. Pilot, this is a really wet ink. Okay. And next is the Ferris Wheel Press Mirror Mirror of Moraine. I love these bottles. They're just so beautiful. Um, I know people say that it's not functional uh, or not, um, you know, the, the best uh, in terms of like just um, user friendly because it's really thin and it can top over. I haven't had an issue with that, um, but I do have to be very careful either way. Um, but Ferris Wheel Press inks are just beautiful, so beautiful, but a handful of them don't work so well in fountain pens from what I see. Okay. Um, but this one is nice. It's not a shimmer ink and it's, it's bright or it's saturated enough. So these three so far, is, um, going down, the top one is like a turquoise. The, um, well, the appetite is like a turquoise. Um, the kujaku is a dark teal. 
Uh, you can kind of see the red sheen going on there, I think, if the camera picks that up. Uh, and then the Ferris wheel mirror mirror of Moraine is like a really, it's like an aqua turquoise, uh, but there's a lot of green in that one. <clears throat> okay, and then for the two shimmer inks, let's see. I'm really excited to use these shimmer inks if I decide to go with them. I think they will look great. But also I don't want to gamble and ruin the nib and feed. So we'll just give this a little shake. Um, I already have Crystal Marine in one of my pens. And it's in my Lamy uh, medium nib. But it's so wet. Uh, I think Robert, this Robert Oster ink is super, super wet. Um, and it makes my Lamy write like a broad. Okay, so this is also coming off kind of, oh, it's drying green. Well, actually, no. Oh, this is interesting. It's changing colors for me too. It's like, it dries blue and, it, and then if I have the second layer, it's green. This is Robert Oster, Crystal Marine, oh. this is an interesting color, and it's a wedding, so, but it's not even drying yet, but you can see in the pooled areas that it kind of shimmers. I'm not sure if it's showing well on the camera. Okay. Wow, I am I just I really love this <laughs> this Robert Oster ink. If you like blue and green, you should definitely get this Robert Oster ink. Alright, and then the last ink I will swatch um, and then make a decision is the Troublemaker Copper Patina. Oh, this ink is super light. It needs two layers to be dark enough. I might not use this one. This is Troublemaker. Oh. Hmm. It comes off really nicely with the dip pen, though. Troublemaker Copper Patina. But a dip pen doesn't really show you how it would behave in a pen, a fountain pen. So I don't really go off of that completely. All right, wow. So I think you can see the copper shimmer in this Troublemaker. Uh, and then you can definitely see the blue shimmer in the Robert Oster Crystal Marine. Uh, and then the, the base color is, um, I would say it's a green with blue, hints of blue. Um, and the Mirror of Moraine is like a green with slight hints of yellow and blue in it. Um, and then Troublemaker Copper Patina is almost the same, slightly darker. So, what is the verdict? Let's see. <laughs> Choosing ink is always so hard, but it's always, it's also fun to just swatch these inks and decide what you want. I think the copper patina would look really nice just because the copper kind of matches the gold accents. Um, but this crystal marine is nice too. Oh, decisions, to, okay. Probably not the Kujaku. It's too dark. And the appetite is too light and too blue. Ooh. To shimmer or not to shimmer? 
Hmm. I'm really liking Copper Patina. It's the only one I don't have inked up in my pens at the moment. Um, you know what? I think for safety's sake, <laughs> I am going to go with Mirror Mirror of Moraine because I don't want to deal with shimmer problems in my sailor pens. Not, I don't want to go through that again. So let's ink it up with the Mirror Mirror of Moraine. It's such a gorgeous green color. It was the it was the ink I've wanted to pair with this pen from the beginning, but I got another pen that arrived the other day and I inked it up with this, but I didn't quite like it, so hopefully this one will be perfect. Oh, let's... So with cartridge converters, you, um, you might want to do it like two or three times just for it to get a perfect fill. But just from that one, I got about halfway and then you just release the ink back and then bring it back up. And you should get a full, almost a full, yeah. That's almost full for me and I'm okay with that. I like to change quite often, so this is okay for me. Um, cap the ink. All right. So the Pro Gear Slim is very is a, is a smaller pen. It's not the smallest. It's not as small as Co Kobeco pens, but they're small enough that. I like to post mine, and so it feels nice when you post it. So let's test it out. All right. Sailor. Ooh. Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Music. Ferris wheel press. Mirror. Of Marine. It right thick. I am not used to this. <laughs> oh my goodness, but the pen is so beautiful. Uh, I think this is going to have to be used with more wild writing. <laughs> it is smooth, but it's big. It's very big. doesn't quite write like a stub. I might someday have someone, a Nibmeister, grind this down so it's a little thinner. Um, let me compare it to my other stubs in my Pro Gear. So that you guys can see if you ever want to invest or try out a music nib, you can see the difference in stub nibs. So uh, let me grab my other stubs.
Well, if you can see, my favorite color is kind of turquoise <laughs> in the blue, in the, the realm of blues. Um, okay, so this is the Lamy with a 1.1 millimeter stub nib. Uh, this is my Sailor Pro Gear Slim uh, Spring Rain from The Sound of Rain. And this is a medium fine, so it writes really beautifully. This is my Moon Man with Pilot Vanishing Point 18 karat gold nib with a stub. And then this is my um, Twisby Eco um, Smoke Rose Gold, and it's got a 1.1 millimeter stub. So they're all very different in terms of writing these stubs. I'm sorry about that. Okay. So let's use, or let's look at the Lamy stub first. All right. So, sorry about that. My phone uh, battery was dying, so I had to recharge it. Um, but yes, so this is my Lamy tourmaline in 1.1 millimeter stub. You can see the stub there. This one writes beautifully, and it's also, it's small enough for uh, everyday writing. And I have in here the Emerald of Shavor by J.R. Bun. You can see the stark difference in the thickness of the line. The Sailor Pro Gear music is very thick. And then here is the Pilot Vanishing Point stub nib. And I have this with Ferris Wheel Press um, Steeped Umber. It's a really pretty brown. <clears throat> and then this Trisby Eco has Tumbling Time Blue by Ferris Wheel Press. This ink and pen combo is really, really nice and wet. I love it. Twisby Eco Smoke. Rose gold. It glides so, so, so smoothly. And it writes well from every direction. It takes a while for the ink to dry though, so <laughs> it's very, very wet. But such a gorgeous pen. Beautiful ink. Yeah, I'm not so happy with the way that I might not be able to use this on a daily basis to write. Uh, Sailor Pro Gear Slim Music. Yeah, it's hard for me to control my in smaller handwriting. And then this is the typical medium fine from Sailors. I was not a medium, or I was not a really, really fine tip writer until I wrote with Sailors for a while, and I am in love. So, Sailor Pro Gear Slim. 
says medium fine. It's got feedback because this is the pen that I may have destroyed, uh, the nib that I may have destroyed with the um, with the shimmer inks, but it's it's a really really nice nib, and I feel bad that I may have destroyed it, um, but hopefully that's not the case. Um, it writes smoothly on other paper, but on the Tomoe River paper, it's just very scratchy. But I don't think it's like scratchy, but it's just really, really, really loud feedback. Okay, so we'll get just have a closer look at the width of all of these. So I would say that the music nib from the sailor is. Uh, well, yeah, it kind of goes in descending order. Sailor Pro Gear Slim Music is the widest of the stubs, and then Twisby Eco's stub is next. The Pilot Vanishing Point stub, and then the Lamy stub is the thinnest. So I like the Lamy and the Twisby's stub nib. Um, the Pilot one feels thick, um... And it's a bouncy nib because of the way it's a retracting pen. Uh, it's a little bouncy, so it's kind of awkward to write with a stub nib from um, the vanishing point. Uh, but it still writes nicely. Um, it's just the upstrokes are very bad in terms of the ink that comes out. Um, yeah, so if you don't like super thick lines, you might want to avoid the music nib. <laughs> I experimented with it, um, hoping that it would be like these three, um, but I'll just have to spend the extra money to get it grinded down a bit. So hopefully it'll come out really, really nice by the time that's done with. But I am happy with the look of the pen. So thank you for... Um, watching if you stayed this long i know it was a very long video um but yeah tell me what you you know what your favorite uh sailor fountain pen is from the you know from the sailor series um and uh you know which one of these inks you, <laughs> do you feel like would have been the best choice um but based on what i saw here and I, it writes really wet so i might actually try to put the copper patina in here later <clears throat> so this is going to I'm just gonna add this to the end of the video but I did um, <clears throat> decide to change the ink color um, from the Ferris wheel press mirror mirror of moraine and then I decided to put in the uh, troublemaker copper patina just because um, the ink came out so wet from the nib that I um, decided that uh, shimmer ink would um, I'm gonna try shimmer ink and it did really well so also I changed the way I wrote with this nib it is it still writes really thick um, words and letters so that's a fair warning if you still are thinking about <clears throat> uh, music nibs but if you like writing big then I think it's it'll be perfect for you um, so here is a live example Okay, so I'll just <clears throat> give a close-up so you can kind of see. Yeah, the sheen, the copper, sh oh no, the copper shimmer is definitely there and it comes out really nicely, I think. Um, so, let's see, I think you might be able to see some 
yeah it's not the best with showing lots of shimmer but um, the shimmer is subtle and I quite like it all right again uh, thank you for watching um, if you found it helpful um, just kind of just see the music nib and the size and how it writes um, please leave a like uh, or a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you like to see more videos uh, like this about fountain pens um, and yeah if you have any questions or comments uh, write them down and I will um, read them and respond as well all right thank you and have a good day